Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, in which we're playing, of course, Old World Blues. This is the Courier 6 submod for Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Leggett Ossidens. Love but we have some comms to go through. We're currently at war with the NCR now, and their allies, the Sheen, the Mojave Territories. And we're doing alright, it looks like, because Kaiser's Legion has gone to war with them, actually, or they went to war with each other. And it was about the second battle for Hoover Dam. And, uh, yeah, as you can tell, there's quite an encirclement here, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, we're doing okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ten divisions in circle, pretty much. Ten divisions that go bye bye. I think we like that a lot. But one of the uh, comments from yesterday says, "Righteous, another great old rolls blue cam blues campaign." Well, thank you, I appreciate it. Ah, good. Keep pushing in. Keep pushing in. Get rid of the Mojave chapter, please. Uh, good, good springs. Good springs seems kind of well, good. Uh, pursuit about sucks. Um, someone else says, Just seems like a Legion playthrough. Using the benefits of New Vegas, as if they took over in a war. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, can you guys make your way down here and go to the Mojave Desert? Or outpost, I guess I should really say. That'd be great. More air stuff? More ground support? Why not? That would be delightful. Ooh. No, we don't have any air support already down there, which kind of sucks. It's alright, though. Another comment says, Uh... I don't think the Legion would allow cannibals and drug dealers run free, considering how they operate. Um, still great stuff. Would love, you just love to see you play the other pass for this type of campaign. Yeah, I would as well, and hopefully we get there sometime too. Um, let's see what's going to grab here real quick. We're done with our land auction, which is great, 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 great. Uh, flamers, frag grenades. I think Kaiser would burn his enemies up. Or some other explode them too. Oh, I'm on a plane fighters. I'm on a plane attackers. Yes, please. And we just finished the Zaps Neon Signs. Once a major sign manufacturing company, Zaps Neon Signs once even lit up the new Las Vegas Strip itself. Now they're more and more for being used as an impassable perimeter walls. They build the Vegas sewage system. Sewage is one of the lost commodities of the old world that only a handful of players can truly understand or appreciate, but soon enough, everyone in New Vegas will know the joy that can be brought by such facilities. Nice. And we're pushing through it there, too, which is pretty good. And we cut them off here as well. One, two, three, four, seven. I can add, usually. Also, we do have divisions up here just in case. Ooh. Hey, you guys stop training. Um, just don't lose here. Because New Canaan did go to war with us as well, which does kind of suck. Uh, we're not mobilizing anymore, but we do get a little more population. The Kaiser's Legion seems to be doing quite well down there as well, so... Overall, not bad. And they are almost all dead. Come on. Yay, they died. And they'll keep pushing through here. Oh! They're also fighting the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. As well as the Steel Rangers, so we definitely want to get a good amount of territory out of this war. See what we can do. That'd be very, very good. Oh, and they're gonna die. Die for our amusement. Yes, please. Thank you. Anything else here? Jessup? Output? Stability. Economy. Trade laws. Ah, the bear's last meal. Generally, Oliver demanded we submit to New, uh, the New California's demands of becoming an associated territory of the Republic. So they enter independence and make us a puppet in all but name, although New California's greatest market. Can we really submit to these demands? Why did I lose that chip? Roses are red, violets are blue. We're going to send Securitrons after you. I mean, we're already in a war with them, so I don't think we'd submit. But maybe that's just me. Someone says you should do the side bets focus, even if you get kicked out of the Legion. Your focus will give you a war goal against the main Legion anyways. So, someone says, and rightly so, about the whole allowing cannibals thing. Degeneracy kills nations, and always has. Yep, and someone else said, the Legion would never allow cannibals to exist in any of the lands, pretty much. And someone else asked, would you consider doing a reformer run? Or tell the truth about the Enclave, please. Well, I've done it at least once, if not twice, already. But yeah, that sounds like fun. I can do it again sometime, maybe. Transport gliders, rotary bombers, and eh, I get that one too anyway, screw it. And there you go. Yeah, we've already just spilled over here. Ooh, would you like an encirclement? I would, yes, I would. There, be inspirational, even though I can't really use that anymore. Um, you are just a bunch of infantry dudes. So get some infantry stuff. You all are infantry dudes as well. There you go. Oh, you're not supposed to be an infantry dude. Well, whatever. I don't think they'll be able to do too much to us right now, but, you know, whatever. We shall see. Oh, hello. Huh. How are we doing up here? Just defending? I'm straight defending is fine with me. We got a lot of manpower now. Holy crap. 
We don't have any cores on stitch. Oh, Kanta Claus, that sucks. Scavenge, send a rescue team. Very good, very good. That's a lot of resistance. Holy cow. Um, we're out of dynamite. Makes if makes you have saws and stuff. Yeah, some of these have a crap ton of resistance. Holy smoky fathers. Holy Papa Smokes. Let me cancel the what guys, we need stuff. We'll definitely take a good amount of stuff from these guys. Fall of Shady Sands. Great song from the front. Let's get some more war support. Yes, please. Oh, Mojave, oh, Mojave Territory is finally capitulated. Holy crap. That took a long time. Quite a long time, I would say. Go right there and circle them. Oh, they caught us. Oh, but not really. Not in time. Ah. Oh. I love the destruction of the NCR when we're fighting them. Uh, refugees. Fine. Work with the goddamn refugees. We need some energy cells, too. Cool. Robco Reborn. Robco Industries was one of the largest and most influential computer and robotics corporations in the pre-war U.S. Within these countless facilities scattered across New Vegas, one can find the potential to create an endless host of automatons. And that's something we definitely like. But let's come over here and grab some more uh, energy resources. No. Flamethrowers. Very nice. Keep doing well. You're doing great. Are we going to push back here yet at all? No. We're not even attacking. Which is fine with me. The Legion should be doing better than what they actually already are. Why are we ending up like pushing the most here? How many minutes have we lost? A thousand? Not bad. Who killed off how many? 4,500. How many casualties have they taken? 6,000. Well. Thank you. Keep going, keep going. How about you all hold first? Just hold. See what happens. Is the Legion. Doing all right. I don't get some more supplies here first. Drop things are not bad. Can we get any more output? Or yeah, I go some of that too. Let these guys struggle just a wee bit. It should be a pretty much hold here indefinitely. We want to push. We don't have enough demo equipment or anything else, really. Not good. It's nice. Let them deal with the stuff down here too, and help them out. Superiority. Oh, we're doing quite well. A hundred of these do quite a bit of damage. What a bit of damage. Very nice. From Gus and the High Confederation. Oh, an encirclement, you'd say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions. Yes, yes, yes. First batch. First batch of fresh men and Securitrons with a newly rebuilt facilities rolled out the Belchers hours ago while Securitrons are on a new side in Vegas. Robots with a fresh coat of paint and shiny new weapons certainly are. Hmm. Production expansions, Securitron, production stuff. Which doesn't really help us out all very much. Oh, we also did the reunion. Uh, I think we read that one last time too. The silo. It's divided into multiple nuclear silos, but only one allows a path to move forward. Hope filled silos, a death trap filled with pre war military gear. Prospectors will need to be hired to recover anything of value in this old military facility and clear the path. Yeah, because how are we going to do this against these guys? Because we'll have to make some sort of defensive line here. Uh, we won't take Hoover Dam, we'll take Boulder City. We're going to take up to here. 
up to and the divide maybe at the very least incinerators a little head time doggos why not anything over here anything over here nope anything over here either two nope wow we pushed wow I understand we want political power, which don't be bad. And actually, once we can like win this war, we can actually start coring stuff here. Because we could really use more manpower. Holy crap. <laughs> more cores, less resistance, you know, the good stuff. Yeah. Planes do an incredible amount of damage right now. Which is fine by me. Not bad. Well, that's not sure. Keep training them. Anything else here? Uh, Great agency. Why not? Rob Coe's human resources. This is on scare package. Helps lower uh, resistance. Yeah, daily compliance. No, maybe. yeah, helps lower resistance target. More daily compliance is very good. Very, very good. War measures. Eh, nothing really there. I really care about too much. Major businesses. Um, that's not bad. It's all right. Explosives, combat robots. Ah, good Tol chicken. Tol Tolchinsky. We're missing a crap ton of infantry equipment now. To be expected. More millies, please, especially in areas that we have a hundred percent compliance in. So we should end soonish, right? Yeah, they're, they're close to capitula capitulating. Should we get in a circle here? Santa Barba, where my dad used to live. But probably not in 2280. That's a power plant, it's very good. The silo. Yeah, I definitely want a lot of this territory here. Just whatever can help us defend these territories the most. You know. Oh. Enter Del Sol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do some of that. Our plane bombers. Rotary engine bombers, because he can. Literally just because he can. Old World Blues kind of sucks, not going to lie. Got plenty enough manpower right now. Passive refugee assimilation, not enough. More building slots, thank you. I should give up very soon, hopefully. Good, more melees, please. Probably lower by one, we'll be fine with that. Long range radio, a little bit more encryption would be very nice. What else? Honestly, not really much else. After the silo, hmm. Handy servicemen. Uh, Mr. Handy Robots are utility robots created by General Atomics International. With further development designed by Robco Industries, although they were designed as General Chore Automatons, they are quite capable of defending themselves with the flamethrower and buzzsaws. Not bad. Since we're here anyways. Hmm, why does this keep resetting? Oh. Carrier 6, level 50, you bet he is. Just, just make sure he doesn't die. Good. What do we have to do with all this resistance and such? You know what, since we're here, I'll put it down. Um, point three, point two, point one. Not bad. Can't do our own legion. Kind of sucks. We'll get there. Got to learn a lot, becoming a Hills Fighter. Urban Assault Specialist would be very good. I 
Can I just drive on in? Hey, the answer's gone. Thank God. We get way more equipment now. Infantry armor's looking good. Infantry equipment. Not so much. Hey, make convoys. The silo. The dangers of the divide have shown itself. Dormant defense systems within its old military facilities and a warband of skinless mutants wearing the garbs of both old and legion NCR hinders our progress. It was a hard fought battle, but the Hopeville uh, silo bunker has been cleared for scavenging. It's time to press further towards it into the divide. Hopeville waits. And, oh. Oh, that's nice. The job. Upon reaching the city of Hopeville itself, the courier has received another message from Ulysses. He tells a story of tribe who became legion from Mentari. Disguised as a courier, he was sent on a spy on the west and eventually located Hoover Dam for Kaiser. It seems the man has no love for the legion. To get away from the despair, he found a home in the divide. But before he can get, be at peace, the home was destroyed. He turned to being a courier in order to track down who destroyed it. But who? He didn't tell him. The only thing Courier 6 learned is that Ulysses is supposed to be in the courier. It's supposed to be the courier. He delivered the platinum chip. What is in his intent by talking about history? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. The launch, the divide. Let's time to move further into the divide and figure out what that Ulysses wants. Scouting mission on Hopeville proper, up until the high road to As Ashton, must be restored. Bro. Oh, these guys are blocked off. Ooh. That's dumb. That's real dumb. Still defending. Still doing okay. Um, no, mods getting more output that way. Gonna have resurgence. Recognition was annexed. I think it's smart for us to stimulate the economy by doing that. Keep going. The bar will be nice. Cool. Now she gotta die. D I E, D I E, D I E. What? Why'd you cancel on these? Security robots ain't looking too bad now, though. Security on mutants? Yeah, probably not. Military Academy officers where we do want to go end up eventually, though. But first here. Uh, Freeman's fixtures. More stability. And why not? You bunch of cupboards. You will not be able to beat them without our help, Brotherhood of Steel. Road range and bombers. You know it's good. That's too many divisions. Let's back up a little bit. We'll send in the special forces. Uh, production expansion. Oh, like me, support you. Need that again, please go ahead. Looks like you guys help us out here. Okay, so become spy master eventually, maybe we'll see. Um, new citizens care package because we got plenty of money. Assimilate refugees. Uh, might as well. Rapid pro time is very good. Construction speed, thank you. Bing bong. You 
a bunch of ding dongs. Can you actually get over there? What if you force it? You can pierce us, but you know what? As long as we can break over, that's all that matters. Come on. There we go. Spread out, spread out. Take that radar station away from them. Barra, Barra, good. Bayou Motors. Awesome. Ah, well, we got him. I'll divide the lands a little bit off screen and then we'll see what our next step is. Veni, Vidi, Vici. The new California Republic is opposite from the Mojave. And now we, for this one, to do this one, we needed to have Hoover Dam. So I, I originally gave it to uh, Kaiser's Legion, but I figured since we needed it, all the money just, just take it back. Obviously, as you can tell, the war is oh, over. Um, okay, well. Kaiser entered the strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of Vegas entirely, occupying all major buildings, enslaving much of the population, and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, a civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the American Southwest. The Legion marched over the Hoover Dam, with help of the one who was brutal and merciless as, as worse of them, the Courier. Kaiser honored him with a golden coin minted in celebration of his contributions and distributed throughout the wasteland. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Way, way better non-core manpowers, even though we're trying to course, I'm literally trying to course up right now, better get some goods. We can use the video, just while we goes time goes up. Et tu brut? The Courier has done more for the Legion than any out of the legate. Perhaps even Kaiser himself, for his successfully controlling Vegas and defeating the NCR, and starting to claim rightful leadership of the Legion. So we can go to war with them and get an event conclusion. Well, I don't want to go to war with them yet. I don't mind getting it done, but I don't think we're quite really ready to uh, go to war with them, I'd say. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, I guess I'm going to do this as well here. Gutsy Surgeons. Mr. Gutsy is a line of military robots model created by General Tomics International. It's a militarized version of the Type 1 Mr. G Handy. Gutsy models are armed with a plasma gun, roughly equivalent to a plasma pistol, for long-range combat. A close-range robot relies on a flamethrower. Bricks. Bricks are nice. But yeah, we'll go to war with the Legion and do the best we can. Hopefully not die, but you know. The Legion's got a lot of manpower. They got a lot of manpower, but we'll see what we can do. We'll do that for now, too. Alright, so after that one. Robo-brain strategists. Robo-brains are multi-purpose multi robots. Their memories and programs are stored inside an organic and a partially organic brain contained in a dome shell atop the chassis. They're considered intuitively superior to most robots, as a human brain allows them a wider range of responses and functions. Production expansion. Robots aren't an easy thing to make, and expanding your facilities further allows to focus on cranking them out in mass. Securitron deployment line. The PDQ-88B Securitron produced by House Industry supports only two operating systems, Mark 1 and Mark 2. The Mark 1 operating system lacks drivers for the auto repair systems and explosive weapons, limiting the robot's arsenal to the build in X-25 Gatling laser and then M a 9mm machine gun. And then we'll obviously we'll do the launch too. It's time to move further into the divide and figure out what Ulysses wants. A scouting mission on Hopeville proper. Up until the high road to As Aston or Ashton must be started. Expanded deployment. Construction of the PDQ-88. Secure drone. It's a priority for the people. Uh, for the new people in New Vegas. As it's a reliable and steadfast medium robot has been a symbol of the city's defensive capabilities for decades. Expanding deployment isn't cheap, but it's utterly worthwhile. And sentry bot reinforcers. Sentry bots. Military serial numbers SB quadruple X are security robots made before the Great War with the express purpose of participating in the heaviest of uh, firefights during the war. And cool. And then of course this one. But we need to do the focus architect of destiny, but we can't quite do that one. So if you're ready about that, please just go right ahead. Because we didn't do old authority. Because we didn't do that one. So that's okay. Side butts will get there eventually too. Create our own faction. Make it easier for us to go to war with them actually. And let's see what this says about conclusion. Fabrication factory, factory knows. Anything else around here that we really super care about? Conclusion. So this career's road came to an end for now. And the world of the Mojave Waste and finding it continued, but was spilled. Many lived and died just as they had in the old world because war. War never changes. And we got no benefit. Oh, that's so sad. Go and do that. And we'll do the launch. The high road. Along the road to Ashton, many treasures lie hidden. Shoulder mounted machine guns, ride armor, more advanced than the NCR Rangers wear. But eventually, the roads lead to a dead end as the tunnels leading to Ashton have fully collapsed. Not long after, Ulysses sent yet another message. 
He mentions the great significance of a thriving community in the Divide, how it garnered the attention of the NCR and Legion, and that the Courier helped to flourish by traveling the path. I've walked many paths, and this doesn't mean anything, replied Courier 6. You'll see spoke. It means everything, even if you deny it or cast it aside. Walk into the west into the sun, keep walking till it dies, it'll be waiting. I'm the reason the Divide flourished. Oh, it's vast special forces. Actually, instead of that one, let's go with the Divide. The way to action is open, and it's time to find Ulysses and finally get some answers. Cool. And the Navajo have actually go to war. They're losing, but launch. <clears throat> Further ex uh, exploring further, a way to Ashton has been found through another a missile silo. Fighting through its defense systems and the skinless freaks will be nothing new, but the facility is stuck in the launch states. The launch sequence needs to be continued in order to unlock the silo's uh, containment doors. Initiating launch in three, two, one, an ICBM was launched towards the southwest. There was an active nuke and target unknown. Careers mile, oh boy. All right, well, let's see what happens after that. It's kind of interesting. Of course, the divide and then the courier, of course. Ulysses has been found. Takura has been beneath the flag of the old world. Will be the outcome of this historical clash. The divide. The doors of the main silo where the divide has been found. Uh, the last written conversation with Ulysses takes place before the courier six reaches the sanctum. Ulysses recounts how package delivered by the courier detonated the nuclear warheads in the silos, causing the destruction of the divide. He reiterates how this was a chance for a better nation, one he could remember or could reconsider going home. Courier six denies responsibility, stating that it was an accident as the contents of the package were unknown. Ulysses refutes this as it was still a choice to deliver the package. He led me here to get revenge then, asked Carrier. No, it's about the message you carried that one can create a nation but also kill it. The bear and the bull will offer no future, but they shall burn the way it lies ahead, and there are you and I. We'll have an ending to these things, Ulysses. You've learned the wrong message. More political power in daily or more political power and more war sport. The courier. As the courier approaches the inner sanctum of the silo, Ulysses stands in the middle of the base command room surrounded by several ICBMs. This means the burning of the bull and the bear. The courier tries to persuade Ulysses to halt their destructive plans. If you blame me for the destruction of your home, let me answer for it, not others. Ulysses points to your gunshot wound. No, you've already asked for it. Now the flag you follow will have to. The courier senses that Ulysses has lost faith in nations, and CR and legions are symbols of old world history that only leads to ruin and new nations that can become better are easily erased. The man has become so extremely nihilistic and just wants everything to burn. Ulysses must be stopped. Convince him that his home can be rebuilt. Kill the Ulysses and control, gain control of the nukes. Well, he's dead now. Cool. I'm going to do side bets as well. Especially once we lead these guys too. Yeah, we might as well lead them anyways. The courier's delivery contact with Mr. Alice is fulfilled. We can choose, he can choose to do as he wishes. There are many different denizens in Vegas that are of interest. Helping them out and winning their favor can prove useful in the future. The Apocalypse. Gear 6 decides to end Ulysses. With such a dangerous philosophy must die. The Ulysses had started the silo's launch sequence. It's defense. Uh, system pinning the courier. While he uses stealth boys to get close into melee, a long battle ensues with, ensues with neither advan getting an advantage. Courier Six accurately shoots down the defensive eye bots, which prevents Ulysses to have an opening. Eventually, the solid runs out of eye bots and t need time to construct new ones, which allow Courier Six to focus on Ulysses. Both drawn out, and the two curs engage in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat, with which Ulysses is superior. It seems he has gained the upper hand, but is suddenly bested by the cutting courier, who is blocked and countered with a hidden handgun with one last bullet. Of course, with one last bullet. Ulysses falls to the floor. He watches the courier rushes to stop the launch sequence. Oh, a hard fought battle. These nukes have to be seized. Oh, we're gonna eat. We can really use those nukes as a Navajo are. Well, they're completely gone. Well, would you look at that? The Legion split into civil war as Texas is getting large. So we have Vulpus's Legion, who we're at war with. We're not at war with this sons of Kaisar yet, but there also is Lanius's Legion, led by not Lanius. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna go in anyways. We did go to war with them just because we can. And we weren't really doing very much to us, so... All good. All good. Well, as long as we actually move out and go. So we're not at war with these guys, but we will be very soon. We're going to split, split up our forces quite a bit, which is probably going to be a bad idea, but whatever. It'll be worth it in the end. Also, we're going to need way, 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 way more rider gear. Very nice. Hmm... You know what? You come over here. Both groups help do this. <laughs> come on, guys. I know there's only nine of y'all, but come on. Your division is quite a bit to leave there, but... It doesn't look like they have a lot of divisions over here. 39. Yeah. Also, we did take out the Great Khans. They, did, they were allied with Kaiser's Legion, so... They're dead now. And rightfully so. As we're still acquiring more and more stuff. And building ourselves up more too, which is very nice. Ah. 
because they're over here and not attacking us, I want to wait. I want Vulpus's Legion, Vulpus's Legion to die first, probably. Nine to Del Sol will be kind of a pain in the butt to take out, so... If we can capitulate Vulpus and take all this territory first, and then go to war like Lannis Legion, Sons of Khazar, that might be the better strategy. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Just race all the way down here. Please protect your Nice. Grab some of that too, because you can. We'll say click click, but not really. I mean, the Great Cons were already at war with us, so I don't see the problem with that. So, okay, whatever. Better entertain, because you can. You boy. We're going to need a lot of ride control gear. Because I shifted our divisions over to our resistance divisions to use that stuff, so. There you go. Mop, 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 mop. Not bad. Surprised that hasn't got any worse yet. Scavengers, why not? More measures. Repair the next turbine, you might as well. That science. Advanced with Blessed Weaponry. Oh, since we're here, anyways. Here's this nice care package. We got enough money. 2,700 uh, denarii. Denari. I mean, resistance and the conquered territories is not too bad, actually. Since you bought enforcers, why not? Why are we not winning here? Well, that would be why. Don't slow down, don't slow down. You guys are doing great down here. Nice. Also, in the end, if we don't get territory, I know it's technically a civil war, so if we don't get territory, we're just going to manually get our, give it to ourselves and then go finish off the Legion. Beautiful. Nope. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know why no one will try to attack our caravans at this point. Almost like mercenaries or something, but still. They're still moving. They're still doing well. How many guys are we out now? 4,500 pieces? Oh boy. All the way. Fillmore. Get to the hub. Not bad. Just easy just to wait for the leech to explode. That's all you gotta do, just wait for them to go kaboom. Basic drill. Better reinforce rate, yes. Nice, focus fire, good. Economic resurgence. Hmm. Struggling down here. These guys could still probably lose. I hate Hinted Del Sol. It's such a god awful nation to fight against. This swap is probably not going to die. But I did want to show you what it's going to be like around here. Because it's going to take forever to fight these guys. Um, Lannis' Legion. These guys aren't really that difficult. They're fighting everyone down here. These guys are technically the Legion. So, yeah, it's just really annoying. And we're going to start losing divisions like crazy. But, you know what? We're going to start pouring more and more and more and more. Which will be a good thing. Valer. The boomers are hostile towards anyone who tries to approach the base and refuse to trade with anybody. However, due to the power of weapons they can rest control, or they control, the main factions surrounding the area have expressed their interest with them. The NCR hopes to establish 
for diplomatic trade rela relations with the boomers, while Kaiser's legion seeks to absorb them into the ranks. Mr. House wants the weapons aimed at his enemies. Recruit them to work for us. Now, we just did this one, too. Valera. <coughs> the boomers. Long for the air superiority. The boys are the mysterious lake, lady in the lake, which is rumored to be crashed B-29 bomber in the make Lake Mead. We can win their support of the boomers by screwing this bomber learning how to build a sky fortress of our own. Oh, my papa. A peculiar follower. The followers of the apocalypse have established your presence in free style, while they're already quite helpful in maintaining the stability in the poor parts of Vegas. Enlisting one of their own will be beneficial, and I guess who I saw today. After spending time with the Kade, he opened up and told his tales of his father's past. It seems the man is affiliated with Enclave, and that there are other remnants living quietly amongst the populace of the Mojave. Enlisting their help could provide useful and archaic points to where they are. This would just mean the Enclave remnant located in Jacobstown first. The curator follower. The courier made a strange follower of the apocalypse. Despite the bleeding heart, the man named Arcade again is seemingly out, out of place amongst his follower colleagues. There must have been some interesting and valuable information that he may be willing to share, although he reasonably told the courier, no offense to intended, but why should I go anywhere near you? Through the state of uh, a free side, of course. World complicated. Help me do things. Um, hey, the Paul Flag Savage is not bad. I don't care, of course, guess who I saw today, as well as for all dang song. We now know the location of other Enclave remnants. It's time to track them down one by one and see if they can help Vegas in the upcoming struggle. Guess who I saw today? Arkay was right on visiting Dr. Henry first, as gaining support needed a lot of effort. The man was driven and would not ban his stealth boy research for the sake of the Nikim, but it's mostly for the sake of science. The cure helped out on his research, but before he agrees to give his support, he has one more condition. He took the nightkin or nightkin named Lily Bowen and monitored the effects of a prolonged use of Doc Henry's prototype stealth boy. Let's go, dearie, and oh my papa. The cons have been beaten down by the NCR over and over again. We can promise them security and prosperity if they join us, or finally clear them out and claim the northwestern territories of Vegas. Fraud laying sign. Convincing the remnants of the remnants was quite easy as they were all eager to relive their glory days one last time, except Orion Moreno will leave us as soon as he sees NCR benefiting from our actions. While still quite formidable, the remnants are getting on in years. It's doubtful if they can or want to support Vegas long term, but at least Vegas has gained access to powerful enclave technology. Vertebirds. Plasma weaponry. Um. I go with vertebrates whenever we do the NCR route. Let's go with this one. Plasma weaponry. Of course, like I said, we do Oh My Papa, as well as um, I can make you care. There are rumors of Brotherhood of Steel patrols roaming around the area of Black Mountain, and we've met with a bro Brotherhood scribe named Veronica requesting her aid to end her chapter's isolation. Oh My Papa. The Great Khans are the only truly organized band of raiders in the Mojave, and as a benefit of warrior culture, men and women can both hold their own in a fight, whether in a brawl or shootout. As a tribe, however, the Great Khans were but a shadow of the former selves. Both the numbers of moral morale have been ravaged by a series of massacres and displacements. Take them under a wing. Drive them out and take their territory. Yeah. Are we just trying to panic them? What? Well, still in the dark. The brothers fallen on hard times. Conflict with the NCR forces is imminent, yet they refuse to let go of their isolationist ways and cooperate with outside forces. Instead, they ask for help. Repairing issues with their bunkers so they can stay isolated. Quite ironic, but this may soon be an opportunity to get on the good side and, and eyesight to the blind. The brothers still want more, and they are hard to please. Now they want to gain access to the Black Mountain Rift facility, which will provide them with increased surveillance. The place is crawling with super mutants. Those will be the last favor Vegas will give them. If they don't agree to our terms after this, rooting them out will be an option. I could make you care. No amount of technological proof could even move the Mojave Chapter's Elder to go against the Brotherhood Codex. Even in the face of slow decay, Veronica was unable to convince the Elder to change Mojave Brotherhood ways and even treat as a traitor. She now seems indifferent towards her brothers and sisters. While the initial goal failed, this can't be considered a complete waste of time and resources. This endeavor has allowed Vegas to op the opportunity to have talked with the brother. Let's go, Veronica. Old school ghoul. During the mission, take a tour of the Black Mountain Raider facility. A ghoul named Raul is imprisoned by Tabitha and three. He wants to help out. Raul seems pretty good with a, both a wrench and a pistol. It must be decide how he can make himself useful. He's always useful. It wasn't my best, but actually really good. World's dangerous. An extra gun can hurt. Um, I said to the blind. Full maintenance. Um. So what tell you, Put him, handyman. And I'll get another event as well, I guess. <clears throat> Eyesight to the blind. After a successful mission against Tabitha and her Nikon, the Mojave chapters gain access to the Black Mountain facility. Couriers earn their trust. A trust that can be short lived as soon as possible or as soon as the threat of the Legion of the NCR is gone. Should we welcome them under our flag or use this opportunity to eliminate them once for all? Brotherhood of Steel? Um. I don't, I don't remember which one we would actually choose. I'm going to go initiate self destruct sequence. So I'll go with that one. And I think that would be pretty much it for us for this campaign. Because that's all the focuses that we do have. Which is kind of nice. Or at least, at least all that are available. Happy Trail Expedition. Um, Kane is not in flames because technically we did save them by not saving them. But they died. So, this is what it is. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.